As you can see, my picks for last week did not do very well. I'll go with the Vikings for this one. I think the Jaguars are going to win. I'm going to say Jets. I could be completely wrong there. I'm going to say Panthers. It's very obvious. Cowboys are going to win. If the Cardinals somehow like pull it off, I mean, I would be very impressed. Good luck, Cardinals fans. But here we go. Week four NFL predictions. Let's start. First, we got the Lions at Packers Lambeau Field. You know, I'm a Lions fan by heart, so I have to pick the Lions. I think the Lions are going to win. The Packers, their comeback against the Saints last week was was cool. It was cool, but I don't know. Uh, they looked terrible in the first half. You know, they had zero points. And uh, the Lions have just been looking pretty good every game this year. I mean, they've had their fair share of mistakes, but um, the Lions look great. They're my favorite team. I think they're going to win. It's exciting. Honestly, the, I'm most excited for that game than I've been for any other game this year. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Next up, we've got Falcons and Jaguars in London. Even though both teams lost last week, I mean... The Falcons just look terrible against the Lions, and I know that's like kind of biased maybe, but the Falcons didn't put up a touchdown at all, and uh, it was the lowest score the Lions have allowed since 2018, I think. And it's crazy because the Lions like were right up there and allowing like most points for uh, opposing teams per game last year, so... That was surprising. Uh, they only had six points. I'm going to have to say the Jaguars with this one. So next up, we've got Rams and Colts. Honestly, I didn't like how the Rams played either like last week, Monday Night Football. The Rams just did not look good. So I think the Colts are looking better right now, even though I want Matthew Stafford to do well. I want, I want them to do well, but I think I'm going to take the Colts there. Next up, we've got Ravens and Browns. I was surprised that the Ravens lost last week. Uh, they might have some momentum to come back and win it. The Browns didn't look too bad either. Browns at home. I'm going to take I'm going to take the Browns over the Ravens. Next up we've got Vikings and Panthers and I believe they're both 0 and 3. Yes, I was correct. I thought so. I just I was 90% sure. Panthers at home versus the Vikings. I don't know. Last year when the Lions were looking like really good towards the end of the season, they still uh, got beat by over 10 points by the Panthers at home. Panthers seem to be better at home, but they're both 0-3. Vikings want to come out of here with a win. Vikings do not want to go 0-4. Panthers do not want to go 0-4. It's a tough one. I, I don't know. I'm going to go Panthers. I think I'm going to go Panthers. I don't know. It kind of sucked to see the Vikings go 0-4, but I mean, who knows? It could happen. Next up, we've got the Bengals and the Titans. Titans at home. I'm going to say... I'm going to say the Bengals. I'm going to go with the Bengals for this one. I don't know. The The Titans got absolutely destroyed by the Browns last week, and that could help get some momentum going, especially at home. But I don't know. Bengals have their fair share of mistakes, too. I could be completely wrong about this guess. But yeah, I'm going to stick with the Bengals, see how it goes. Next up, we've got Buccaneers and Saints. Based on just the way I watched these two teams last week, I feel like I feel like the Saints looked pretty good. I mean, I know they threw against the Packers, and I don't know if, if Derek Carr's out for this game, which it looks like he will be. If Derek Carr doesn't play, I'm going to have to go with the, the Buccaneers there. I know the Saints will be at home. I know the Saints did really well against the Packers in the first half last week, but as, as soon as... As soon as Derek Carr was out, it just changed everything, you know? Hopefully he's healthy and okay, Derek Carr, but yeah, we'll see as time goes on. Next up, we've got Dolphins and Bills, Sunday, 1 p.m. October 1st, beginning October with these games. They're both good teams. I mean, the Bills, has, the Bills have been pretty great the last few years. The Dolphins looked crazy in that 70 to 20 win over the Broncos. And uh, yeah, I mean, I know... I, that the Dolphins are favored to win because of that, that huge game against the Broncos. But I still, I'm going to take the Bills at home over the Dolphins. I think that maybe they're going to come down from that momentum of 70 points and chill out a little bit. And the Bills are going to want to take that win. And I think it's going to be the Bills. I could be wrong, but I'm going to go Bills. Next up, we've got Broncos and Bears. So from two really good teams to two really bad teams, probably 
probably the worst looking ones coming into this week and that can change you know broncos and bears i mean bears at home i'm even though the broncos give up 70 points the other day i'm i'm still gonna say broncos broncos are gonna win broncos are gonna beat the bears hopefully put the bears at 0 four but yeah i guess we shall see commanders and eagles yeah i thought the commanders would take their first loss last week and they did the Eagles didn't look as good as I thought they would, but they're still one of the best looking teams in the NFL right now. Eagles at home, I'm gonna say Eagles 100%. Uh, if the commander's upset, then damn. Steelers and Texans, I don't know, Texans at home. I don't know, I feel like the Steelers are gonna take that one. I'm gonna go Steelers over the Texans. Raiders and Chargers, the Chargers uh, at home, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the Chargers are gonna win. Uh, they've just been looking pretty decent, I feel like. And yeah, I'm gonna go Chargers. Cardinals versus 49ers, uh, 425. So that's at home with the 49ers. 49ers are top three teams in the NFL right now. I don't know. Everyone thought the Cowboys would destroy the Cardinals last week, and the Cardinals put up a crazy fight. Maybe that was home field advantage. Maybe that was just. Uh, revenge you know wanting to get that win under their belt but yeah I'm gonna say 49ers are gonna win but I mean the Cardinals really could just come back and like change their season around so uh, I don't want to put too much weight on that guess even though the 49ers look so good but yeah I'm gonna go 49ers next we've got Patriots and Cowboys I mean yeah like I said last game with the Cowboys and the Cardinals like that was an upset. I did not expect that to happen. The Cowboys didn't look as good as they did in the previous few games. And uh, the Patriots won. But uh, yeah, I don't know. At home, uh, in Dallas, I'm going to say at home, Cowboys are going to win. Cowboys are going to beat the Patriots. And then we've got one Sunday night game, Chiefs at Jets. The Jets just haven't been looking good uh, ever since Aaron Rodgers, you know, got injured. And that was the beginning of their season. And so, yeah, I don't know. It sucks. I'm sorry, Jets fans. At home to Sunday night, I think the Chiefs are going to win. Um, unless the Chiefs just don't put any effort in, which I don't think will happen. I think the Chiefs are going to take this one. Last game of the week, we have Seahawks and Giants Monday night. Giants at home. This will be an interesting one. The Seahawks have been on a roll. I mean, honestly, I want to see the Seahawks lose. I want to see the Giants win at home on national television that would be great and so yeah i'm gonna pick giants with that upset pick and uh but we'll see what happens so those are my picks for week four i'm excited i'll see where i'm at in the week count up my scores i'm excited for this lions packers game less than two days away thank you for watching and uh comment your thoughts i appreciate it and uh have a good night peace